This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Guess I better clear off the DVR. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. So we've made it to January of a new year, mm-hmm. which traditionally means the second season of new TV. Mm-hmm. Now, with so many channels, it would really be easy for the industry to go to a full 365 day a year schedule with no hard and fast delineation mm-hmm. between seasons. But networks are nothing if not traditional. Right. So let's go over the new shows that are premiering over the next three months. Okay. Now, as we record this, several shows have already begun, mm-hmm. and there seems to be a trend to introduce new shows very early in January, some even on New Year's Day, and I guess they just wanted to get in front of the herd. I think it used to be that, that January was a pretty slow time for new TV. Yeah, but... it really wouldn't get anything until February sweeps. Mm-hmm. But uh, we begin with The Mick on Fox, mm. Caitlin Olson from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, a foul-mouthed woman forced to raise spoiled rich nieces and nephews. I was not impressed by the promos yeah. and probably won't watch it. Uh. Ransom, CBS, yet another procedural. Uh. <sighs> Yikes. It'll probably do really well because procedurals do well on CBS. Yes. Beyond on Freeform, a.k.a. ABC Family, a.k.a. Fox Family, a.k.a. Family Channel. Mm-hmm. Pick a name. Tim Kring, the producer of Heroes, yep. produced this supernatural drama. Mm-hmm. All ten episodes went live online at the same time as the premiere. Is that a strategy, or is that a burn-off? Ah, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I think it's probably the latter. Yeah. The Wall on NBC. This is a game show, and basically it's an hour-long version of Plinko. Yeah. <laughs> better than I thought it would be, but, but still not enough for me to watch a second episode. Right. We have Star on Fox, kind of Empire 2.0, because yeah. <laughs> well, that was huge fine. success, so they're mm-hmm. just going to crank out another version of it. Mm-hmm. One Day at a Time on Netflix. So this is a remake of the 70s Bonnie Franklin vehicle. Now, there are rumors that Norman Lear is going to take old scripts from some of the other shows, like All in the Family and Good Times, and just reshoot them. Which I don't quite understand the concept of, unless you're setting them in the 70s. Yeah, it just doesn't... Because otherwise, mean... it's like, the, the, it doesn't mesh. No, it doesn't. So. You know, if you're... It, I'm actually reading fairly good reviews of One Day at a Time. Hmm. So... So it's like, okay. okay, so do a do a remake, you know, of the same concept with new scripts. And, yeah. But, I don't know. Yeah. Emerald City on NBC. This Oz remake has been pushed back at least three times going back two years. I'm sure it's really great. <laughs> well, I might try watching it if enough episodes actually air to make it worthwhile. Right. So that gets us through what's already started, Mm -hmm. but for the rest of January, on the 12th, My Kitchen Rules on Fox, a competitive cooking show with celebrities, and I think there's like three or four channels that show that kind of show 24 hours a day. Yeah. (laughs) Well, you know, this is for those people who don't have cable like us. (laughs) Yeah, I suppose. So there you go. January 13th, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events on Netflix. With Neil Patrick Harris starring as the bad guy. And I've heard very good things about this. Okay. Much better, they said, than the Jim Carrey vehicle that came out a few years ago. That's good. January 15th, The Young Pope on HBO about the first American Pope. Yeah. Jude Law and Diane Keaton are in the cast, so they're actually putting out some money for this. Of course, it's HBO. They got, you know, they got plenty of money to try it. Of course, the one I'm uh, looking forward to. (laughs) Yeah. Riverdale! Yeah. <laughs> January 26th on the CW. It's an angsty take on the Archie gang. Mm-hmm. It does really seem like a good fit for the CW. Yes, they said that it's going to be like Archie with sex. Nah. So. And you can also check out the comic book Afterlife with Archie, which is in a way kind of like it in that it's more gothic horror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
But this is more Twin Peaks meets Riverdale, I yeah. think. Yeah. Moving on to February. And on February 2nd, Powerless, NBC. Basically, DC Comics meets The Office. Mm -hmm. The premise has already shifted from an insurance company to a security arm of Wayne Enterprises. Well... That worries me that they're changing the concept. Yeah. That that means they did some early, you know, focus groups. And they went, ah, nah, we, it needs to be more rooted in DC Comics. So yeah. they kind of pushed it that way. Still looking forward to it. February 2nd, also, Superior Donuts on CBS. Can a cranky old guy, Judd Hirsch, and a young entrepreneur get along? Another show that's been p p barely pushed back a few times, which is never a good sign. I think Judd Hirsch has done this show two or three different times, yeah. hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's the cranky old guy. February 3rd, Santa Clarita Diet on Netflix. Drew Barrymore and Timothy Oliphant star in this comedy about real estate. Okay. I'm not really hearing too much about this. No. I'm guessing as we get closer, we'll get some actual promotion mm -hmm. for it. February 5th. 24 Legacy on Fox. Mm. More on-screen clocks, anyone? Yes, but there's no Kiefer. Nope, because he's too busy being the designated survivor right now. I wonder if they'll have a Jack Bauer character or somebody else. I think, as I understand it, it's different characters. Okay. February 8th, Legion on FX. It's a superhero show based on an X-Men character. Okay. A, Not Legion the DC. <laughs> no, Legion as in the oh. X-Men character. He's the schizophrenic mutant son of Professor Xavier. Aubrey Plaza also stars on this. So that could be interesting with Aubrey Plaza. But it, 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 the information I see and the promos that are out there kind of indicate not much actual superhero action. Mm -hmm. More drama, you know, character yeah. drama. And that's fine. Oh, yeah. February 19th, The Good Fight, CBS All Access. So this is a sequel to The Good Wife. Yes. But it's going to be on their nascent digital platform. Yes, and it doesn't have... Uh, uh, Margulies on it. Yeah, Juliana Margulies won't be there. Right, so. so, you know, and the fact that it's on CBS All Access, is this going to make people pay five bucks a month to go see it? Well, again, I think it's going to be just like we discussed with the Star Trek one. You know, you wait till all the episodes are out there. You pay your five ninety nine. You, you watch it, it, and then you cancel it. Right. <laughs> you know. So, I think CBS has to get a big enough or uh, enough shows to, you, to avoid that. So yes. the point that you'll be willing to continue watching yeah. stuff because mm -hmm. if they just throw things on one at a time, eh, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Also on February nineteenth, Big Little Lies on HBO, a David E. Kelly uh, mm -hmm. drama moving to pay cable. Uh, about three young mothers. Okay. Again, it's a little farther out. Haven't heard much about it. And then going to March. Uh, on March 5th, Chicago Justice, NBC. I have not watched any of the Chicago shows. <laughs> the Dick Wolf's Chicago Empire expands. I miss Law and Order. Coming soon, Chicago President. Yeah. <laughs> March 7th, Trial and Error, NBC. It's a Making a Murder parody with John Lithgow. Mm. So it's like a sitcom-ish dr comedy drama kind of following this murder and there's a documentary, mm -hmm. mockumentary type thing going on. And then March 17th, Iron Fist on Netflix. This is the last of the four Marvel gritty superhero series before we get the Defenders series. Mm -hmm. And well, the last introduction. Right. Because there'll be other... There's another series, series of, of Jessica, Jessica Jones, Jones and another and yeah. series... Yeah. Yeah. And also, they're throwing out a Punisher series, right. which I think is going to come on before that happens. So... So I guess we have about two months to get through Luke Cage, which yes. we're about halfway That's, through yeah, right halfway now. through. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to continue to watch Luke Cage and a lot of other stuff on Netflix. Right. Not so much on networks, unfortunately. Mm. But you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife Street Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. <laughs>